So why don't we switch it up? Why don't we try one of the spritzes now? Let's what? Do we want to do the All cliche? Right. Ashland. You cannot have liked that one. <laughs> the, they have so many flavors. I'm talking I, about the one we just had. You can't. I know. I know that's that. what I'm saying. <laughs> Wilhammer. Everyone loves summer, but nobody loves sweaty plums. So use the code with hammer at manscaped.com and cool your man fruit with the Crop Reserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner. Don't forget to trim your underbrush with the Lawn Mower 4.0 and enjoy a summer of fun thanks to Manscaped. Again, that's code with hammer for 20% off at manscaped.com. Oh, we're going to do the cliche. Yeah. Uh, here. Oh, now yeah. listen, I'm going to, hopefully I love this because, here I'll throw it. I love over. cliche. Actually, it, it, it's you good. It? It's, it's, oh, I, I yeah, no, I, I have a ton of them because my cousin okay. gave them to me. I've been drinking oh, them for a while. Oh, this is a wine hard so it has a difference. I like the vodka. Yeah, but it's Orange Swift. So they make machete, uh, okay. abstract, yep. right. uh, papillon. It's viscous. Yeah. yeah. The thing I love about It's actually this, really good. Like she said, they I make. I like the blueberry and They make lemon. machete and I love machete. Machete Pinot Noir. Ugh. Is the best. So these are made by Oren Swift, who makes uh, quite a bit of different fucking great wines. Some great wines. Um, they are uh, Napa Sonoma based, um, and uh, they they they're actually kind of known for their kind of crazy cool labels. Very um, cool. You look at machete nice. guys. Machete abstracts. Different uh, labels every time. Papillon. They all have really kind of yeah. just kind of cool labels. Yeah. Um and. This was just a, an interesting transition. Oh, this is the hibiscus one. Yeah. So I like the blueberry lemon. I, this one's okay. It's good. It's good. I like it. But it's wine based. Give me. So instead of uh, malt liquor or vodka or Thank tequila you. based, it is wine based. And yeah, I, I, I actually I, think they're kind of. Oh. They're they're. Well, I haven't I haven't had the hibiscus one. Mm. I've only had the blueberry. Um, oh. Which the I might. The smell is not my it favorite. Is not Wait, I might lovely. have some in my car. Oh, that smells like ass. Jeez, I might have the blue. Leave, oh, leave, leave, leave them there. Leave, let's let's just keep oh. testing what we got here. Uh, well, no, it smells oh, like I, no, it smells like sulfur. Which that's is ass. horrible. It's ass. <laughs> which yeah. makes sense. Yeah. Listen, well, um, so and the blueberry. I love machete, but this. I haven't, oh, I haven't tried this one, but the blueberry lemon oh. one is actually delicious. Um, it it just is, you know, it's like drinking wine. So you. If you have an issue with getting a headache later, you might get that. <laughs> I mean, guys, I was, I had nothing but confidence that you guys were going to blow this shit out of it the park. It tastes good. Tastes good. No. Taste it. I, smells, you taste it? I can't even fucking get it. Taste it. I go to take it a drink. It. And I, I didn't taste it. it tastes good. No, you didn't. Taste oh, it. I, I did it. taste it. I don't it. like it. I did. Uh, when I smell it's it, on camera. You know when you're headed into the drive through car wash? And you can kind of start to smell the soaps and like the, the water quality. That's what I'm smelling here. And and I associate, I, I that smell is a very positive thing for me because I like the car wash. That's an outing for me. Uh, <laughs> another place I could take it's a seltzer. Time Adam gets out is when he has to do chores for his girl. Hold on. Yeah. Let the sulfur, it's like a bottle of wine. You have to let it kind of breathe for a second. It's out Whoa. of a can. Take a sip of it. It tastes good. The flavor is way different than the it's smell. It's so good. For sure. It actually tastes really good. Troy, do you like it? I'd rather drink vinegar. I'd rather drink vinegar too. That is so I, bad. I think it doesn't, I don't Straight think it tastes bad. Bag. Oh, damn. That's like, no, I, I can't get past When's the, the last time you I drank out of a douche I, bag? Last uh, week. The sulfur, <laughs> the sulfur is a little aggressive. Five minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> the scent is surprising, but the sulfur is a little aggressive. It's the same thing with a this ash. A little aggressive. Like, for yeah. Fucking sitting in the shitter. Well, Jesus. I wonder if it's something with the canning process that they do. Like, who, who knows? We're going downhill here. So yeah. I want to explain Way. to the audience. Um, we've we've only had we've already had like you know a couple of drinks now, and these guys are already like full asshole mode. Um, <laughs> So we're always so way. you know. Or something. Yeah. Please pray for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Brandy hasn't gotten into full bitch mode yet, but she's no, she's no. headed that way. Yeah. You're well, so hey, hey, come on. Hey. I'm always an asshole. I get that. All right. You've got right. a, you've got a clean glass here, girl. Yeah. Sweet Everybody's titties. Good. You got sweet titties. Wow. Some people say so. <laughs> She's sitting in the middle for a reason. Yeah, because she got sweet titties. <laughs> I'm giving myself. Come on. Uh, All right, this I one's. Got, I got, there, I got it's work so on funny. Mine. There's a rumor. Well, I know there's always just this uh, art, real, real or fake, you know, kind of thing. And yeah. um, no, they're they're real. Um, but they still like. There's a rumor that the network paid for me to get a rack. 
Oh, um, that's what I heard. Which is so funny because they don't pay for shit. Um, <laughs> except for, like, you know. Except when they want to rap. No. No. Somebody else no, said something. That is so, so ridiculous. That's yeah. like my favorite stupid ass rumor. Yeah. But I like stupid ass rumors. Do you? Well, when you involve your rack. Yeah, well, you know, when, <laughs> when you're bored. involved with your rack. When you're bored. I mean, yeah, I'm bored as shit. Come okay, on. Troy, which one are we trying right we now? We are doing lo fi spritz. It's a grapefruit hibiscus. I'm a little familiar with this company too, just because they have a really good line of sweet and dry vermouths. That yes, lovely. See, now this yeah. smells like wine. Lovely vermouth. Love them. Mm. Very good. Well, this Big smells fan. great. It, smells yeah. it actually does smell really good. So uh, smell is an issue, kids. It is. Let's just talk about adults, this for a second. Ad- for adults, too. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Don't put this in the bag. Sorry, box. I just, yeah. you know, seven days with children. She's used to that, but let's not do that. Okay. You can tell the grapefruit and hibiscus. 21 and over. You know, that's what I was thinking earlier on this one as well, right? Head hibiscus, right? Mm. And that oh. is, isn't that, where, isn't that gin hibiscus? Kind of a, associated? No, no, no. Gin is, is yeah. juniper. 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 Gin is juniper, so right. no. Mm-mm. Not I, like that. The Jamaica Agua Frescas that yeah. you'll get it um, at taquerias and stuff, that's made with hibiscus See, flour. This, it sound, if you put a little vodka in this, it would be very... Again, yeah, I, I think that's one that needs to be zhuzhed up I mean, it's okay. Little. It's 8%. It's not terrible. 8% no. will do yeah. it. It's not terrible. It's actually not a little terrible. sweet is, my, is little what sweet. my thought it's was. Sweet. Yeah. It's a little sweet. And that maybe that's why he wanted to put vodka in it. But if you put vodka in it, um, you know, shit housed. Pretty close what is to it that. Now? Is it a vodka it's base? It's 8%. No, it's wine-based. That's it's wine based. It's sparkling wine. Yeah, it tastes like yeah, wine. Yeah. So. But it smells good, but the, it's, it's it's a classic hey, wine. Hey, smell, it, spencer, smell right? is yeah. important on, on every level. Spencer. If your food doesn't smell good, your drink doesn't smell good, Ain't nobody going you're there. kind right. of inclined not to drink it <clears throat> yeah. or eat it. Or eat it. It's like dur- durian. Is that? Yep. Yeah, I yeah, was yeah. In, yeah, when I was in Asia, there were buildings that had large signs outside do not fucking bring durian here and people were like you gotta try the durian i'm like if it smells so offensive <laughs> that you have giant signs that say do not bring that here there will well, be a fine if you do yeah. i'm not eating something that smells like shit they're like but it tastes really good fuck you man uh, no. i'm not eating that yeah, i don't want to break my nose for i'm my good fucking thank you palate. thank yeah, you I'm, I'm, in, I'm not that adventurous sorry but i don't understand how you guys make this stuff and, and think it's going to sell when it smells like shit and then you want me to drink it. I don't get it. It just doesn't work. I mean, this one's not that way. If you finish them. two more of those beers, they can't yeah, put you're, anything you're in front of you. Yeah, you're going to drink everything. It doesn't matter. But, well, you, you got know, a point there. Right? Here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, you got a point there. Right? Now, here's the thing. When you start drinking, when you start drinking, mm. uh, you know, whether you started when... Your goes right out the wait, door. Wait, no. When you started when you were a kid or whatever, when you were trying to, you know, test out your dad's beer or the whatever you had a party or house and you're just drinking whatever the fuck Playboy. was available. Sure. And so, you know, it probably tasted really fucking bad. You know, like not every, nobody starts out just fucking knee deep in the shit <laughs> drinking fucking rye whiskey or scotch, right? right. right? You got to like work your you got to work your way up to that. You know what I mean? And I think that that is a transition over life. Like, Adam she when you start, the brunches, right? no, no, she doesn't. No, she it, doesn't know the brunches. It, it, it's much different. Sometimes you're born right out the womb and you got a little nip right <laughs> off the bat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We go right uh, for the shitter. Okay, yeah. so we're, we're done with this one. <laughs> I can tell you. Right for the shitter. Uh, now, Troy, when you were mentioning like classic wine coolers, yep. I remember. Bartles and James. Oh, thank you. Yes, Bartles and James. that's the one. Loves, love Bartles and James. Especially the Bartles bottled James. ones. My dad used but to they get went me away. One. They went away. I know. My dad used to. What so my dad never left they the house without a beer in a bag. <laughs> and my, my, he would just get me something to make me feel like I was my you know, wife, a part of the James. crew. Greatest woman on the planet. Doesn't drink, but she would have a Bartles and James occasionally. He says that because she's mad at him. Love that. And so then they just fucking pissed. went away. Where did they? I mean, it's a- so they actually they have a they have a canned version. Oh yeah, secret bottles and secret stuff. Mm-hmm. But but I miss the bottle version because they were so classic. Yeah, that bottle sure. shape they had too. Bartles and James. Yeah. James, then they went. You never know. I mean, you never had a Bartles and James. Never touched it. No. They had other. They had other wine coolers as well. Oh, they're great. They had peach. They had oh, they had everything. But I they also Boone's Farm. Uh, Boone's Farm was ah. not a. It wasn't a wine cooler. Boone's Farm right. was just Strawberry Hill. It was cheap wine that you could buy. Right. Or candy apple or whatever the. Fuck no, it was it was, was Strawberry was. Hill. It was Strawberry Hill. But um, they had like those little Cisco cans, 
And then they had, uh, what was those ones that, uh, what were they called? The, they had like all the different, uh, flip, like Sex on the Beach. Oh. And fuck, what were those? Those were disgusting mm. too. Uh, Mad Dog 2020. Oh God. MD 2020 yeah. was totally different. Uh, yeah, that was that wine. Ugh. Hard. Yet you say you like it. I didn't say I liked it. I said it's really sweet and I just can, it's better than the ones that smell like fart. Way. I still think the titties are fake. Christ. <laughs> if that was true, then I would not have to be wearing a bra right now and have wait, these very wait, large well, you know, come on. And if you watch the progression of the show, they're there the whole time. Yeah, they don't come and go. They were there the whole time. <laughs> Nothing changed. I just got better bras to hold them up a little harder. I think you're making an interesting point, though, Brainy, because it seems like silicone is one of those substances that floats whether it's in water or in air because very true there are a lot of folks you'll see around that are defying gravity science for sure. well they look like thundercats <laughs> and you can you know thundercats. they all thundercats. look like thundercats yeah. oh man but the worst jobs are like gals are sitting at 10 and 2 I mean, they are looking oh, no, no, like no. a well, driver's ed the course right there. Yeah. No, no, no. I think it's real important when they it's... get them high enough so you can rest your head on them. Well, no, it's the really, really skinny girls. It's the really skinny ones that have like, the, so because they have to pull the skin. You know what I mean? So then they I don't just know what like, you mean. there's this weird little gap thing and oh, they're just oh, like because really it, solid gappers. little bolt-ons. You need to do something, bro. You're, you're so, very flat. Center gappers. Yeah. Oh, those are fucking weird, dude. I, I feel bad. Well, I'm like, oh, honey. For, you know, how much did you pay for Okay, cut, uh, cut water. We went from beers to tits, right, but checking. we'll go back to beers. No, oh, sorry. Well, we were, we've were we been drinking. <laughs> yeah. um, this one actually, okay, listen. We're at the canned cocktails now. I have not been uh, mm -hmm. in the past a fan of these, but I do like the Mai Tai one. Listen, it smells great. I don't, I haven't liked any of the other oh. ones that I've tried. Winner. But the Mai Tai is mm. actually really good. And it you is. know what? I just tried it for the first time in Washington last week. My cousin had them, she was like, "These are I really actually like these. I don't really like the cut waters, but these are really good. And I was like, eh, I don't like them at all. And she was like, just try it. These come out well, of- Well, like you said it's earlier- It's actually really good. Like you said earlier, this tastes like a popsicle. Uh, it's mm -hmm. really good, actually. Yeah, the, oh. Comes out of San Diego, to 12.5%. 12.5%, is that what I just saw? That's yeah. huge. Mm -hmm. Ooh, baby. Yeah. So these will do the trick. Yeah, one of those cans will put you away. Oh, yeah. These cut water Mai Tais are A-OK -okay in my book. And we're going to start hitting tiki bars near you between Orange County and San Diego to see which region has the best tiki bars. And this is from San Diego, by the way. There we go. We're coming to you, San Diego, in a tricked out mobile podcast recording studio in an RV. In the comments below, let us know which tiki bars you want to see us at. Guys, it's the Let's Get Hammered Tour. Alrighty, everybody, we've been doing the legwork so you can prepare your best summer seltzer buys from High Times Liquor and Wine Cellars in Orange County. Up next, we've got a wonderful little rye iced tea. What are we looking at here, Troy? I'm going to let Brandy tell you. We are looking at a Sagamore Spirit Rye Lemon Tea Fizz. It's rye whiskey cocktail. Uh, it's a Sagamore Ooh. Spirit. It's rye whiskey with Meyer lemon juice, green tea, and natural yuzu flavor. I love yuzu. I'm a big you know, fan. You know what? I'll tell Four you Four-year-old rye whiskey. Honey, that's worth walking over for. It is. But I'll tell you guys something. It smells like rye whiskey. It does, Like yeah. it should, you know? It's not... Oh, it doesn't have that see. horrible smell. It smells great. Let me just see what's in it. Okay. It's just, it's just a little honey almost, too. Yeah. It says, enjoy straight from the can or pour over ice, which I think you probably would like to pour this over some ice. Yeah, typically. Yeah. No, um, you guys, you, you hit it on the head 8 on this 8% alcohol. It's really great. Oh, you so, know what? It's got better carbonation than You one. know yeah. what's funny is all of these have a pretty significant amount of alcohol in them. Yeah. Ooh. I didn't so notice that they had alcohol. Those cut waters are a little high, though. 12.5% out of a 12-ounce can can really sneak up on this you. This is yeah. delicious. It is yeah, one to be yeah. cautious with. No, but this with ice, I mean, this it's it, it, the rye. You no, even without the, the ice, rye, this mean, is very good. It is. I like it. I'm a fan. The herbal tea notes in there with the light rye is. Do you taste the honey as well? You yeah. Like this is guys, yummy. I will tell I taste you this. I, I don't know your marketing department, but you're. This is not good. But I don't know. I don't I, hate I don't, it. I don't like the. I I, I'm not going to buy that. I want it to be a little more, you know, flashy than what it is. But it's a good product. They've got it in your I hand just already. I don't like the. 
the packaging. Really? It's, it's no, very, I don't like it. It's very matter Sometimes of fact. Sometimes simple is That's better. That's an ugly yeah, color. I, I actually prefer that a lot more than the cliche. The cliche uh, looks like over-designed. Whereas uh, the simplicity, this is delicious. Yeah. it is delicious. But I, but I also think that's probably just like preferred aesthetics too. Right. Like, like, because I, I, I know folks my age will definitely trend toward a minimalist like. So you guys design. like mustard? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't even do ketchup I on my mustard. hot dogs. Yeah. yeah. No, if if you do ketchup on your hot dog, we can't be fucking friends anymore. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I hate ketchup, but I mean, do I, not I just... put ketchup on your hot dog. I'm sorry. No put ketchup way. on your fucking hamburger. I don't care. Yeah. Uh, or your French fries. I like to put pepper in it. It's delicious. Do not put ketchup on your hot dog. You know what makes me really sick to my stomach? What? It's watching you stuff your face with those hot dogs. Nobody. I mean, nobody puts ketchup on a hot dog. It's not, it's blasphemy. I'm sorry. <laughs> All I'm going to say is, guys, it's I wrong. love the product, it's but wrong. call me. I can redesign it's a better not can. not the way they were made. They need mustard. I'll Easily. keep drinking mustard. it either mustard. way, fellas. Hot dogs are for mustard. Mustard. And if you put sweet relish on there, your mom's a hoe. Like it's just, it's really, really bad. No, not if you just have because one of mom had eight children pickly, doesn't mean dill, she's a hoe. Dill pickle. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Goes by nine fathers. Wait. I don't know. <laughs> what, why have you been so difficult, Adam? Yeah, your age group, right? We've got wine base. We've got vodka base. We've got like. Oh, wine, we haven't done the gin. Base. Oh, let's. I would love to try that one. I do, I've, I've got daughters your age ish. Yeah. And they lean all towards the vodka base. Mm -hmm. Is that what you see for the most part? Is that like an auto grab? I would say so, Troy. The vodka yeah. grabs are probably the easiest in tandem with the tequila. Those two, I think, are the most approachable and like easy to. There's not many tequilas, though. Uh, there's the Casa, Casadoras ones. Well, and there's the Cutwater Ranch ones as well. Um, there's the ranch waters. Yeah, oh, we have the good. Has, high noon has it. They yeah. just started that, yep. and actually, right. they're they're quite good. Ha, um, have you guys? Have you good guys Bevco? The, have you been on the subway lately, where the guy keeps drawing your picture and you sit down and he keeps drawing your picture? Have Are you, you trying to act lately? like you the take the subway? subway? It's been it's been you know all over the place. The subway in Orange right, County. You, I, well, listen, I, listen. Let me you finish. Have, you let have not been on the fucking subway. Listen. Tell the truth. Listen. Adam was on the subway, and there's a the picture right in front of his microphone. <laughs> oh. <laughs> they did a great job. Hello, Adam. everybody. <laughs> Dude, um, keep yeah. drawing. Yeah. yeah, don't listen to this yeah. guy for a second. Yeah. He hasn't been on the fucking subway. Yeah. Right. <laughs> if I have a sip from Good Bevco, I'll be a real boy. He's like, can we just oh. take the... Get to the chopper. We're not taking a subway. <laughs> I think we're, we're number one here. Right? Yeah, on yeah, I would agree. We're number <laughs> two here. Yeah, right? I think that rise, my one, number two. two. This, this is was, really good. Oh no. mm -hmm. I good actually, Bev. Yeah. I this, mean, this rye. The, okay, Good Bev is my favorite. Good Bev is my favorite. Fucking hands and I down. I love your packaging. Hands guy. down. Yep, hands down. Love, love the packaging. Love the drink. Love it. Delicious. These ryes are actually very, very good. so the good. Rye. I'm going to buy this one. Yeah. It's I'm actually, gonna actually buy this one. so the, yummy. Between yep. Good Bev and this one. Yeah. I would drink the yep. shit out of this. Yep. Um, we gotta got try the... the long drink, you guys. It, it tastes really good, but it I'm does absolutely it. give me a little bit of a headache. And yes, then you listen. got the, the Mai Tai with the coconut, which, you know, Brandy needs I will die for. She if will die. I drink that. Um, I, I've had enough <laughs> drinking for today and the for here and all this. So we're all gonna go to Cassidy's and get And drink up. more. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to follow Happening Now with Hammer right below us here on YouTube. Also check us out on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. And when you see us out on the road, be sure to say hey. For, for and shout low. out, shout out to High Times Liquor. And they provided good and good bev. They provided all of these for us to get a Tasty little tanked up on today. Beautiful. When you're ready to have your Orange County Beach Day, make sure you stop by High Times Liquor in Costa Mesa. High Times.